Mixing beats can be really hard sometimes. You can struggle for hours and hours to get that perfect mix. But it's actually not that difficult. You just need the right tricks to help you out. Today I will show you five mixing tricks that I wish I knew earlier. Number one, less is more. Let me show you what I mean by that. When you're making a beat, you sometimes hear a voice in your head that goes like this. Timon, just add one more sample. And then before you know it, your beat looks like this. And it sounds even worse. No one is gonna buy this beat. Hell, they don't even want it for free. You need to make sure that there is space for the artist to rap on. Let's take a look at Russ, for example. Go listen to his most successful songs and one thing all these beats have in common, they are super simple and they work very well. That's all they need to do. So again, less is more. Which brings us to tip number two. Cut instead of boost. You drag in a sound in the channel rack and the first thing you do is boost up the frequencies you like. Stop doing that. First, you need to cut away all the frequencies that are unnecessary. For example, here we have a melody on the left and an 808 on the right. The most important frequencies of the melody are here. The most important ones of the 808 are here. The melody also contains a lot of low frequencies and they are clashing with the lows of the 808. And this will result in a muddy mix. To fix that, we're gonna cut away the lows of the melody. This will leave enough space for the 808 to punch through. Also, let's say you want to make this part of the melody more prominent. Instead of boosting it, cut down everything except for that frequency. You could also boost it, but then try to turn down the entire spectrum. Number three, put it in mono. You want the 808 to sit in the middle of the mix. This will leave space at the sides for other elements of the beat. To do that, send it to a mixer track. Here you can see a knob and if you drag it to the right, it will become a mono sound. And this also counts for the kick, by the way. Four, use sense for effects. You have these five elements, which need reverb, so you put a reverb effect on every single mixer track. This means that five reverbs are being processed by your CPU. This will slow down your computer a lot. To fix this, right click another mixer and call it reverb. Perhaps give it a color. Now send all the other tracks to that mixer. Select the reverb bus and open up Fruity Reverb 2. Open it up and increase the wet signal, then decrease the dry. To adjust the amount of reverb for every track individually, simply select them and change the mix knob. Is it... it it's that easy. Oh, and when you're done writing down these tricks, you should go and combine them with the tricks you learn in this video. So go check them out. Gotta go now. Goodbye and subscribe. Goodbye.